go. All right. Are we on? Okay, live, live, live. Da, da, da. Okay, it's me. Hello. It says zero viewers right now, so yay. Then let me do this. Uh -huh. Again, take a second and get cute. It's Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and this is the Tuesday Night Live Stream. If you're looking for Tac Chat, that's going to be next week. And if you're sad about that, you can go check out the Tac Chat playlist and look at some of the past ones while you clean your tack, if you have tack to clean. Um, but tonight we are crafting, and in the past we've been making something specific on the crafting live stream. Oh wait, I need to um, turn on my phone. Um, like we made unicorn horns, and um, we made the fairy wings, and we made appliques for saddle pads, but tonight we're not working on one specific project. There's like clearly a bunch of stuff that I have not finished, like I need to paint things. Hang on, let me get to the chat if you're here. That actually, no, that can't be me. That's somebody else. <laughs> so hello, if you're here and you're crafting with me. Oh, shush me. Identify yourself, please. Oh, hey, Genevieve. Are you making anything tonight? Are you doing anything crafting? Or are um, you just like hanging out and being goofy with me in regular clothes? Genevieve is in my Taekwondo class for anyone watching on the playback who wants to know who she is, you know you want to know. All right, hang on. So let me show you, first of all, um, hang on, I'm going to need to get up. I'm going to need to get up. All right, everyone, don't. Sorry about the view there. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm so fantastic. Look at me go. <laughs> Lazy night. Oh, hey, Danielle. Danielle is her wife, and we need to get her calf healed so she can go back to Taekwondo class. These are so cute, but they're so plain, so I need to do something with these. These need a thing happening to them so that they can be a thing. I mean, they are a thing, but they're a boring thing. They need to not be a boring thing. Oh, I want to show what else I really want to do tonight. <clears throat> What? Crafting? Hey, Scott. Scott's here, too. Um, this was Sunny's horn that we made um, on the um, uh, unicorn horn uh, crafting live stream. That's one. Scott did that with me. And what happened was, oh, gosh, you can even see it on camera. It looks terrible. Like, there was, this was supposed to be darker in here. This was shadowed. And I put this gold glitter spray on it that was supposed to be, like, a glitter spray and a sealer. I never tried this before. I, I love trying new things. There are so many things, products to use when you're creating things <laughs> from scratch. So I wanted to try this and I sprayed it on and it made the whole thing light. It like lightened it all up and made it look like there was a powder on it. And I hated it so much. Like it was my ex-boyfriend and I want it to die. So, and this happened like the day before we were shooting the Jake Nodar video where I needed to have like Sonny with his new horn on and I was angry, it was seething. So we ended up using the new horn that um, is going to go on page and it looked okay, but it didn't look perfect and I was mad. Anyway, that's my story. <laughs> Sorry if you, I didn't tell you you needed Kleenex for that sad, sad story. So today I want to take some paint and add some shadows back in here. You can see, I heard his glitter on it, but I need to add some shadows back in. So this is getting painted and these are getting painted. And if we have some more time, I should plug in the hot glue gun. I cut little teeny strips of fake fur, faux fur. And these are going to get like, you'll see this looks really plain and ugly and obvious. And you would be like, oh, yes, I'm not putting that on my horse. You're crazy. But once we add little, look now, stop it. And we add these in layers. Hang on, let me show where's the other. And we add, I'm dropping things. <laughs> and we add these in layers so that, it, shut up, it'll look nice when we glue it. <laughs> Don't judge me. All right, so let me put this over there. And take, oh my gosh, I don't have my microphone plugged in. Y'all, there's always something. <laughs> If you're a regular to the live streams, you'll know I'm always like I don't have my mic on or it's not plugged in or I forgot something or, or I didn't turn the microphone on. I was just looking down going, oh, the microphone's turned on. Everything's great. So unicorn eyebrow. What is that, Scott? 
Do I have a unicorn eyebrow? I don't know. My videos are not sponsored by Diet Dr. Pepper, but they really should be. So I am going to take this tulip glitter fabric paint. This is just like Walmart, three bucks or something like that. I should put some affiliate links in this. I'm going to do that in the playback. Whatever I use in the video, I'll put, if I like it, if I hate it, I'm not going to put a link to that because I, I, well, I don't know. Just because I hate it and it doesn't work for this project doesn't mean it wouldn't work for you. That's being so close-minded. Not very creative at all. So I'm using a palette. Well, I call these palettes. You know, when you're Tupperware, you always have lids that don't have bottoms anymore. So I use them as paint palettes. That's what I do. do the, oh, I see the, um, you guys are talking about these. Like this is a unicorn eyebrow. Oh my gosh, what if I did eyebrow, what if I, I'm not gonna hot glue these to myself. So if you're tuning in for that, you're really gonna be disappointed. <laughs> I should probably get help. All right, let's paint. Let's paint. I'm gonna start with the fairy wings and I think I wanna use a brush. I'm gonna show like, I used, actually it looks pretty good on camera, but when you're looking up close, you can see the track. Cause when I put it on, I pretty much just did this. Do, 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 do. And it's fine, but I don't want it to be fine. I want it to be cute. So I'm gonna get a brush. Here's my brushes, let's pick one. Let's pick one. All right. Sorry, I was checking the chat. Does that look terrible? Am I looking down? I'm gonna look down, okay. Let me pick a brush. That one looks like it might be nice. Is that one more firm? Oh, that one might be very much nicer. It's got a little firmness to it. That's too blah, blah, blah. And some of these are too, no. You have possibility we're gonna hold on to you. By the way, these are the cheapest paint brushes that I could possibly find. <laughs> Excuse me, they came in like this big giant like bag at Walmart or something. <clears throat> All right, so let me scoot a little. I'm gonna put some deet paint on here. You know what, I should probably shake this up. I'm smart, I'm so smart. I think I found the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We have put some paint down, and now I have to decide which one I want to do. Oh my God, I just looked down. I've got my phone down here, and it's a little bit delayed. So as I looked down, I saw myself doing the violent, weird shaking thing. Okay. Um, I think maybe the one that covers more area, the teeny tiny one is going to be too teeny. So mm -hmm. I am, hold it and let's see, let's hold that up. It's just a basic and it's pretty firm. It's not like really woojity woojity. And here's what the paint looks like when it's not in the bottle. It looks really white, but it dries. You can, as you can see, it's just kind of an iridescent sparkle on there. But you can clearly see the line of it. So, you know, it's like paint on there. So let's see what it looks like. I have no idea what it's going to look like when I paint it on here. So here we go. Actually, let's see. We should start with the outside. Oh, gluing flowers. That's what I need to do. Because I made the, not these wings here, but the ones that are up there that you can see. Oh, I need a bigger brush for this part. I'm going to need a bigger brush. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I think I might need that down in front of me, won't I? If, now I have to see the paint and the chat. Oh my gosh. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm painting this on, and for right now, I'm painting it in there. This was from the fairy wing tutorial we did. You can make these out of coat hangers and knee highs. You can make them Okay, this is what's ended up happening to this. Do I want that or do I want to? Um, I used uh, wire and I actually used knee highs. 
think of what other kind of fabric I could use to make these fairy wings. And again, if you are in the chat and you are crafting with me and you are making something, say hi. And if not, then I'm just gonna sit here and paint on YouTube for an hour. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna it here right now. I'm not sure where I wanna go with this. I'm not sure where I wanna go. How about we just make it? No, I'm gonna make that a hard line. Let's make that a hard line. And then, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this a hard line and then we can do sort of a designy thing in the middle. We've made a decision. Then I'm gonna get this all filled in. Sparkly fishnet wings. I wonder, I bet fishnets would be cool. I was thinking, um, I want to make some that maybe aren't stretchy, but then we'd have to glue it down. But I want to make some out of some Halloween-y, like, spider webby or batty fabric and make them where they're, like, pointy. It wouldn't work like this. Like, this has to be kind of this specific shape. But, oh, my gosh, do I want to make some, like, bat fairy wings. I got to figure that out. We got to figure that out one chat. Like, I don't know how to make them. Maybe I can do the whole live stream is just me figuring out how to do it. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, but yes, yeah, sparkly fishnets might make a fun fairy wing. I wonder if like pattern hose would be, okay, here I am. I'm painting the spiral wing. Okay, <laughs> if I should turn around this way and maybe, ah, uh, and now I'm like touching things with it. There we go. Can we see me like this? Can we see, I feel like Bob Ross now. It's a happy little fairy wing. It's a happy little fairy wing. Do, 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 do. And over here, we're gonna create, we're gonna create a magical little sparkly border on this fairy wing. Just a magical little happy little border. Happy little border. I think now I need to round out the end here too, maybe, and make it look like a thing, like a thing is happening. We're gonna let this design emerge. Yeah, spider web bat stocking fairy wings. I just have to figure out how to to figure it out. But maybe we can do it. We can do it together. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm having trouble finding a comfortable position for this. And like they're kind of losing their shape and it's making me sad. Like I'm having feelings about it. Definitely having feelings. Oh Lord, what am I doing? What am I doing, Paul? Okay, I think it's probably before anything goes terribly wrong. It's an important part to note for anyone who is joining me crafting in the live stream. Just remember that there's nothing that happens that we can't fix or do over. You get do overs when you're making stuff. Totally. Oh my gosh. There's like the weird thing, you know where the toe is on the knee high? This is why maybe I need to figure out how to make it where it's, this is an easy design, okay? This was super easy, but maybe I need to figure out like to one up myself for the next round of fairy winging. Cause I wanna try a couple of different designs. There's a kind that you can make with um, cellophane, um, like, you know, you know, like iridescent cellophane uh, to make the fairy wings out of it. I thought that would be neat. And they'd probably like crackle a little bit. It might, it might spook the horses at first, but um, they get used to it quickly. Our tax gets used to stuff quickly. He's like, oh my God. And then he's like, fine, whatever. Okay, now I need to do the same thing on the inside. Is that right? And we'll see. And then maybe a little designy thing in the middle will be happening. I feel like I want more down there before I go to the other side. I need more down there before I go to the other side. That's what's happening. I want a more dragony. Oh, dragonfly wings. I was trying to go for more of a dragonfly thing with the pair I made for Bonnie. I'll pull those down in just a second. Let me sort of make a line of where I'm going with this. Let me fill in my paint right here and then remind me because I tend to forget what I was just talking about. We do that when we do our tack cleaning live stream. I'm always forgetting, God, when I'm drinking wine, always forgetting what I was talking about. Oh, and by the way, uh, for my tag chat people, if you're watching this, for the next tag chat, I think Adriana's going to be out of town, and I'm going to have another, I'm going to have a special guest for tag chat. 
and it's going to be Weasley, Catherine, uh, Weasley's boyfriend. So my horse Weasley has a boyfriend. I have a gay horse. He has a boyfriend named Hamlin. They hang out and lick each other's faces. Not even kidding. And so Catherine is Hamlin's owner and she is going to come on. We're going to discuss this. We're going to discuss Okay. Hashtag pride. That's not even a thing right now. That's, uh, well, I mean, we, we're still pride, but it's no longer awareness month. Now we just have to do rainbows because we like them. And do pride because we're proud. Okay. Okay. Now I can see through the thingy do what is going on. Do, 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 do. My ethereal and physical dragon wings. So yeah, the reason we can't do that shape with this is because the stocking material pulls in on the wire part of it. So it's like, it can only do so many shape variations. That's why I want to do one where it kind of, <laughs> I want to do one where it kind of lays flat and then we have to glue one layer on and then put it over. It's a little more like complicated, I think. Um, which is of course why I didn't do it first. Ha ha ha. Try to stick with simple. Do some simple things for a crafting live stream first. And either I fail colossally and it's hilarious or we all learn something. Don't you love it when we all learn? Okay. Hang on. I require more beveraging. Um, mm. I also said I was going to get these wings down. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Enjoy the view. Oh my God. Wait, no. Why? Why? It's so colorful on the screen right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, hey, this could be our thumbnail. I'm obsessed with thumbnails right now. So these are the ones I made for my friend Bonnie that I have to actually, let me put that aside for a second. You go away right now. You're annoying me. I don't even care. We have, we're thinking about something new. We're on to something else. It's God. Who was I? What was I? So I was going for a little bit more of a dragonfly -y kind of a shape. And this is what we ended up with. So I was wondering if I wanted to touch up some paint on here, but I do need to put some fake flowers on here or some ribbons or something to hide the electrical tape or the electrician's tape or whatever that's called, that stuff. And to hide this thing. This is for corsets and to go down like inside a shirt or a tank top or bra or whatever. I really like that. I really want to like cut slits in the back of a couple of my t-shirts so I can stick that down in a sports bra. Cause it really, they sit so much nicer on the back when they're sitting there like that on your back. Rather than, these elastic straps where they go up under your armpits. I hate them so much. I really want them like to not be a thing anymore. So I might need to like have a couple of fairy queen t-shirts that I can just stick these down to. I don't know. Hey, Genevieve likes these. So this was one of my friend, Bonnie. She was the one I did a, um, the fairies riding unicorns with her where we put on our fairy wings and we put the unicorn horns on the horses. Oh my God, that looks sad right there. There you go. <laughs> That's so much better. Okay. So, um, oh, well, let's look and see what kind of flowers I have then. Let's look at what flowers we have for you. That means we have to plug the glue gun in. Michelle, get it together. Okay. How about if we put you over here? And then we need the glue gun which is in the glue bucket of things. Oh, the, how did I get the holes in there? Incense, lit sticks of incense, and it just burns right through. And if you do it carefully, it doesn't leave a runner. And then I put a little bit of paint around the holes here. I'll show you up close. It just looks so cool. So you take a lit stick of incense and you just stick that right through there. And then I took a little bit of paint because there's two layers to it. So some paint sort of sealed up the edges of it together. It looks so pretty. I just love it. Oh, so pretty. Oh, and there's my kitty cat, Loki. Do you want some fairy wings, Loki? I should make Loki some fairy wings. Do you want some wings? He needs little bat wings. 
He needs little bat wings. But yeah, the incense, isn't that genius? Where am I gonna plug this in? Where am I gonna plug this in? Hang on. Oh, I can plug this in. Can I plug it down here? Oh my gosh, the bending over, you guys. Wait, I'm still here. Don't wait. Wait. Why is my life okay? I'm gonna put this down the floor. Oh, I'm about to run out. I need another glue stick. Okay. Let's find a glue stick. I have like a bin full of stuff here. Let's let's do an unboxing in the middle of this live stream. This is ribbon and trim. Look at the sparklies I have. This was from a feather boa. I had put some, I was using this around this for trim. I may like take like little individual feathers and hot glue or tacky glue them onto little, onto the unicorn horns. It's a thing I might do. It's a thing. It's a thing. So I love this ribbon. It's got sparkles in it. See, I wish, I thought I had more. This is supposed to be for a pirate. I thought I had more copper trim. I really want copper trim for Sunny. Everything's like gold and silver, but I'm having a hard time finding copper. This is cool. This is like some iridescent stuff. Okay. I got sidetracked. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always end up like shop my stash. I forget what I have and I go looking for something. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> like, you know, like right now, look at the glitter. Look at the glitter I have. Oh, look how shiny. So satisfying. Oh my gosh. I love glitter. Okay. What am I looking for? Okay, here's crazy glue. My boots are starting to come apart. This is a tack chat thing that should not be in here. Crazy glue is for the boots that are starting to come off. Oh, update if you're um, a tack chat follower. I still have not completely cleaned out the cat pee smell from my boot, my cat, when he peed on my boot. Boots are expensive. Boots are expensive, y'all. Okay, here's my glue sticks. This is what I was going for. I almost forgot when I had opened up. I almost forgot what I was doing. My brain. Why do I like this? <laughs> Blue sticks. Oh, here. I need to put more of this on Artax's horn. I love the iridescent kind of a... I just love that. Oh, Chrissy. Hi. Chrissy. My friend Chrissy says she's watching but won't let you comment. I don't know if you have to be logged into or have a YouTube account or be logged into Google or something like that. I don't know. Um... I am not sure. Oh, here is the horrible glitter spray. This is the stuff that ruined Sunny's horn. I hate you. I want to blow it up. Extremely flammable. I should blow it up right now. There's a lot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Iridescent spray glitter. Oh, you have to have your own YouTube channel? I don't know. Hmm. I guess I always have like had one set up with a thing because I have two. This was this is my unicorn and centaur one, but I have another YouTube channel that I set up to upload things like, you know, Taekwondo camp skits and whatever that I don't want to put on this channel, but are, you know, for sending to family and friends and email links. So I guess I already had an account in place, so I didn't run into that. That's interesting. Okay, so you have to have a YouTube channel to subscribe and to comment. You can just keep texting me. I got my phone right here. I'm getting your text. <laughs> Live. <laughs> yeah, Genevieve says glitter. Yay. Chrissy is a friend of mine from high school. She is in LA and she does movies. Chrissy, John Travolta is filming something here in uh, Savannah right now. And for some of the horse stuff, they're using the property that my horses are on. Eee, my horses are next to movie stars. Okay, hang on, what was that last one? She says, okay. It might take me a second though. So this was the glitter spray that ruined Sunny's horn and made me mad. I kind of want to keep it, like maybe it'll be good for something else. Look at me, I was ready to murder it and its entire family, and now I'm like, well maybe, but it's sparkly. <laughs> okay, let me put this aside. 
and getting distracted by glitter. Oh. I have finished my diet, Dr. Pepper. Y'all, what am I gonna do? <laughs> okay, saw something. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Chrissy is saying, saw something posted about that. I was sad I wasn't on it, so I can hang out with you. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotta get back to YouTube now. Wait a minute, I lost the other chat. Dang it! <laughs> Genevieve says, hi, Chrissy. So anyway, okay, my, you know what? This is good. We've been chatting all the glue guns and heating up. I probably got like paint drying on my paint brushes over there because I didn't feel like finishing. I started getting annoyed with the glitter or glue thing. This is why I have to have three things going on at once. Just like the three sentences that I never just finished. My craft project. Oh yes, uh, the reason I tagged Chrissy in the crafting chat is because she's been doing a lot of cross stitch lately and posting her projects and stuff. So I was like, "Girl, work on it." Here we go. Okay, now what was I gonna do? Oh, flowers, y'all. My brain. Where are my all my flowers? Is this all I have? Excuse me. I'm sorry. Wait. There was a cat napping on my flowers. That's cherry blossom, not. Um. That's sad, y'all. I don't even know what I would use that for. Why are you in here? So we kind of need blue for Bonnie, maybe? Here's the thing. These all these have been in our text before. We put these in his mane. I braid them in his mane when he has a thing. Now we could do a contrasting color. I don't know if that's really going to... Yeah. Ooh, wait, but I was gonna find a ribbon too. That's why I was looking at the ribbon. This is like, I can't, this is why I can't do things with my life. Okay. Y'all in the chat may have to remind me what I was doing. Okay, we're not gonna use the yellow one. Y'all may have to be like, um, Michelle, that doesn't look right. That's like, that looks sad too. Will you quit licking yourself? You're driving me crazy. There is just the sound of licking right behind me. <laughs> You're a mess. You're a mess, Loki. Purple might? I don't know if I like that. Y'all, I'm sad. I would have gone to the dollar store for flowers today if I realized that this was my sad little collection. Y'all, okay, let me look, let me unpack and see if there's some in the unicorn thing. We had a photo shoot the other day and it turned out, oh, our text was adorable. He is so personal, so much personality on camera. I don't know, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Is that just me? Do you watch the videos with him in it? Is he not adorable? Anyway, leave a comment if you love our text. Maybe there's one we could use. Yeah. Excuse me, Diet Dr. Pepper. What about greenery? Would that be nice? No, that wouldn't be nice. No, we hate that. We hate that. I'm putting that down there. Um, maybe you might get to play with us. I'm going to put this over here. Who else wants to try daffodils? Don't think so. You go. What about this little guy? A butterfly on a butterfly? Like a hat on a hat? <gasps> Phrase like I had a laugh. Why is my phone off right now? Oh, Chrissy says she loves Artex. Artex is my baby. He's so precious. He really is the sweetest horse, y'all. Why can't I get this? I think I need to do a meta butterfly thing. Why is this weird though? Look, what in the world are they? This was a dollar store find too, but there's like one wing that's like this. And there's no other wing like that. This is the derpiest butterfly. Hang on. No, this is something that needs to. What even is that? Does it go this way? <laughs> or does it go this way? Or does it go this way? And it's even got like <laughs> four antenna. All right. I'm done with you, dollar store butterfly. Bye. Girl, bye. Okay, maybe. Maybe. That was a hard maybe. Oh, look at these two little things. <laughs> okay. No. 
No. There's another butterfly. What about pink? I hate pink, but I think Bonnie hates pink too. Dirt butterfly. I know. Isn't that dirt? I never noticed that. I would put that on our Texas bridal when he'd do photo shoots and stuff. I'd have the little, well, it's down on the floor now because I threw it away in a rage, but I'm going to show you that I would put it on his bridal and I thought it looked so cute. Now that I'm really looking at it, I'm like, uh -huh. a dollar store moth. That's exactly right. I've got a couple of better looking butterflies in it now. <laughs> I'm just like, All right, y'all, can I just bring this over here? Is this copper enough? This is gold, isn't it? That doesn't, I'll have to look at that. I'm sad, that's all I've got. What the what? I may wait. I am gonna wait. I'm not gonna glue flowers on your thing, Bon Bon. Not yet, because this is all I've got, and it's making me feel sad. And if I feel sadness while I'm finishing fairy wings, I think all the magic on earth will die. We can't take that chance. I'm just going to have to finish that another day, because this is sad. I'm not doing this to you. There's no way. I love you too much. No. No. <laughs> all right. We have to do some more painting then. That's it. That's all there is to it. Where is my... Send Scott to the store for more. It's getting late here. It's getting late here. We will do that. That's what Chrissy says. That doesn't look right. That's too gold. See, I need copper or some other. Will I find copper? Maybe Joanne Fabric tomorrow. I have coupons. They email me coupons and I get them on my phone and I get them in the mail. Joanne really wants me to spend money there. She wants my money. Joanne wants my money. She wants it bad. All right, um, this is not going to work on that. This might work on this, though. No, that might not work on that. It might work on this, though. And it might not. Why do I hate you? Is this ugly? That's ugly. We hate it. All right. I think it's time to get back to painting. I think it's time to get back to our happy little fairy wing. Our happy little fairy wing. I could also paint the shadows. Is it already done? It is. I could also paint these shadows on my on sunny swan. That was my tight Dr. Pepper can you heard. Okay. So I'm painting this part up here now. Boop, 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 boop. Let me cut that crease. <laughs> So we are just painting happy little fairy wings, happy little fairy wings. I may not actually get anything done. I think it was the last crafting chat I had. I had a bunch of people in there and it occurred to me like there are people on YouTube that stream for like hours. Um, and like, I don't know if I could do that because I would have to like pee and get snacks or whatever. <laughs> but um, like, what if I had a bunch of people in here crafting and having fun and we all just hung out for a while longer than an hour? I'm trying to think of it in terms of the playback too. Nobody's gonna watch like nobody's gonna watch three hours of me doing this. <clears throat> I think that's a fact. Okay, that's one wing done. Let's get another one. Yes, ugly. Genevieve agreed with that. I don't know. Maybe I found it at the dollar store. I find things at the dollar store and I'm like, maybe it'll work. And then it doesn't. Don't judge me. I found some great things at the dollar store, though. I found some fabulous things. Let's get some more. Let's get some more paint there. Let's squirt some more. There we go. Look at you go. Oh my gosh, I love you, paint. This is really. It didn't doesn't really show as well on camera, but it's so pretty. This ear. It's called. They call it diamond in this tulip stuff. Okay, now I have to sort of compare it to the other one and get it to wear. I'm, I'm trying to kind of even it up. I'm going to just put it here, and if it's wrong, we'll fix it. That's my life. Let's just do this. If it's wrong, we'll fix it. It's pretty much how I live. There you go, folks. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Did I even tell people to subscribe at first? Genevieve and all, y'all are already subscribed to my channel, but anybody on the playback, 
If you are still with me at this point in the video and you're like crafting stuff or you're just listening to me because you're like, oh, she's hilarious. Because maybe there's a person doing that. You don't know. Then um, smash that subscribe button. I'm trying to, I'm collecting subscribers. <laughs> trying to get it. Okay. That doesn't look the same. Okay. We're not going to worry about it. We're not going to panic. Nobody panic. It's going to be all right. We're going to hold each other. We're going to get through this. We're going to, why is that one so dramatically different? What did I do? Are these going to make me mad forever? Is this going to be my problem child? I just put my finger in what paint. <laughs> all right. Good for me. Yay me. This is a, my happy little fairy wing. You're hilarious. <laughs> Chrissy, I'm making her laugh. I at least, you know what, y'all, I at least amuse myself. When I do chores downtown, people are like, you're hilarious. I'm like, y'all, I really don't get paid enough not to have a good time doing what I do. Like, <laughs> So I'm going to have a good time whatever I'm doing. And if you enjoy my shenanigans, please join in. Please join in. See, this crafting live stream is a little bit different because I like my entire channel is like horse related. And this is horse related because I'm going to wear these while I ride my horse. I'm going to make videos while my horse is dressed up in costumes and I am wearing these wings. And I, so to me, it's equestrian related. Like I'm making stuff for my horses. Oh, Chrissy says she gets told she should do stand up all the time when you're at work. Yes, stand up is hard though. I've done it before, and I've got there's a couple of my friends in town who are who do stand up, and um, they're funny, but God, they work hard. Like wow, um, stand up is hard. I've done improv in this town. How am I out of paint already? Why is this happening? Hang on. Um, improv, improv to me is like less stressful than stand-up, I guess, because there's no, like, rehearsing it and getting it down. It's just like, hey, we're going to trust it and go for it. And there's sort of an exhilarating kind of a of a, a freedom that comes with that, that you don't have to, like, you can't, you don't have time to care about, uh, you know, it, the rehearsal of it, because there is no rehearsal of it. Anyway, theatrical me, you know. All right. Getting these painted, paint and fairy wings. Did y'all know? Like, you know, watching paint dry it's, is like a, euphemi a euphemism. Is that what I want to say? No, is a saying, is an idiom, a saying? Oh my God, I'm not going to Google it right now, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, now I lost what I was saying because I looked out at the chat and Genevieve says, tour guide. Yes, I do horse-drawn carriage tours downtown. There's a couple of carriage companies um, in town. And I've worked for three of them at this point. So, and my tour is pretty much like stand-up comedy with horses and history. Um, and probably some ghost stories, you know, mixed in there. Because then I get to play with my big babies downtown. It's fun to drive those big horses downtown. And anybody who is watching, let's see, we did a whole tag chat where we talked about abuse. And we we've done one where we talked about working horses and how they're treated. In general, I mean, there's abuses in any horse industry, but in general, um, horses that are that have jobs in America are treated very well. Um, the ones that you see that really need help, that are neglected, that need medical care, that um, develop problems that aren't being used, those are horses that are in people's backyards. There, are people. This happens all the time. People get some land and they're like, "Ooh, I have a lot of land. We could get horses." And then we could just ride them around, whatever. And people think they're like golf carts um, that you could just take them out whenever and use them. And I, I'm not faulting people. I get that. If I didn't know anything about horses, I might think that too. So then the horses, once people realize, like, "Ooh, they act up," and you have to figure out how to deal with it. Um, you know, or they get unhappy or they get sick and you can't afford it and they need to be fed every day, even when you're not riding them. And so then these horses end up being neglected and, um, um, to me, that's just, that's bigger than anything uh, to me in the racing industry, in the horse carriage industry. Um, and again, I'm not saying that abuse and neglect doesn't occur within industries because especially in what we came to, the consensus we came to in 
one of the tech chats was like the more money you make in an industry, the more likely there is to be like corners cut. Like there's the more potential for abuse with the horses to produce more money. I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly. I'm not even drinking tonight. But I guess whenever money's involved, you got to watch out for people's motives. Do, 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 do. Okay, I am getting some things painted. Things are happening. Did I do the other side of this? I did the other side of this. Look at me getting better and faster, Dee Dee. Why am I singing like that? Like a Dee 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 Dee. This looks really blue. I'm looking at this on the playback, and there are times when this purple looks really, really blue. It looks really, really blue. This is a little bit better. I like the brush application of this fabric, but this is fabric paint, by the way, not like regular acrylic. I bet you could use a regular acrylic paint on this, though. Um, okay, so now I've got to do the other side. A bring on through to the other side. Bring on through to the other side. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, gotta cut that crease. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's like a makeup thing. But that's what it looks like to me. And like I'm cutting up, doing a cut crease on the wing. <laughs> okay. And my goodness. Y'all trying to film today and my selfie stick broke. Now I've got like two busted up selfie sticks. I need some real equipment. I need some more people on my Patreon. If you're watching this on the playback or if, and you've got some money and you're like, hey, this lady is cool and she should do more things with her life. Um, I really could use another camera. I just don't have the income right now to add that to my inventory. I need to talk to my camera elf, Doug. That's who I need to talk to. Maybe he can help me out. Okay. There we go. I sort of manhandled that on there or woman handled that on there. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, what time is it? I'm like, aha, it's been 45 minutes. If you are a um, old pro at the live stream, cat leg. Oh my gosh, is that? Yeah, Loki is back here and he's licking himself. So I'm sitting here and I'm painting and I'm hearing. He's a mess. Quit it. Hey, quit it. Stop. You're embarrassing me. Oh. <laughs> it's hard to see because he's a black cat. <laughs> you baby. You baby, you want to belly rub? Belly rubs live on YouTube. You're on YouTube, Loki. <laughs> You're so sweet. I love you. He's such a baby. <clears throat> no, yeah, Loki was cleaning. It did. He does look. It looks. The black cats look really funny because they sort of blend into things. Like I'll have all I wear is black clothes, so there'll be a pile of clean laundry on the bed, and I won't know there's a cat on it, and I'll just about sit on them, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, Loki. It's about that time of the evening when it's supposed to be like he's waiting to be fed his dinner. When I'm done uh, doing this stuff, I'm gonna. Go feed him so he's just like annoying me until I go feed him. I'm just gonna lick my butt until you give me cat food. It's a plan that he's uh, stuck with for a while now that seems to be working for him. You know, you can't mess with success. That's what Loki's all about. That's what Loki's all about. Okay, okay, okay. Almost, I have almost got this thing done, and then maybe I will take a break from this and switch to something else. Sometimes I get on one thing and just do it until I'm done and get lost in it, you know? Did I not do that yet? Okay, I just caught up with where I am. Thank you, everyone. Just losing track of where I am. I lose track of that all the time. My brain, y'all. It's probably something wrong with me that I need to be on medication for. Please don't judge me. I'm doing my best. Look at me doing my best. Look at me painting. Happy little fairy wings. Happy little fairy wings. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Okay, look at this. Oh, it's so exciting. I can't wait to see what it looks like dried down. Then maybe I can do some sort of intricate little pattern. I don't know if I want to freehand something or look up some kind of a design online to copy. Sometimes I like to find some inspiration. Why didn't I do that on the other side? Why am I doing it? I didn't do that. I hear you licking. Quit it. Apparently, he's so hungry, he's going to start eating his butt. Cats are gross. I think even if I could reach my butt, I wouldn't lick it. That's just, I think that's where I draw the line. Those of you who know me personally may think I don't have a filter, that I would just do anything. But I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and draw the line at butt licking. I think we can safely say that. Maybe that needs to be the title of this live stream. I'm going to go change it here one more time. All right, I just put my fingers in the paint. That's great. I'm a genius, aren't I? That's why you're here. You're not here because I'm on top of my business. You're here because I'm a train wreck. I'm kind of a train wreck and I'm just about out of paint over there. It needs to last until I get this last little bit. And then we're gonna put you aside and you can rest. You can rest. Oh, Chrissy, whatever that last emoji was, I couldn't see it. My phone is weird. Sometimes emo there are certain emojis that won't show up on my phone. I don't know if it's because my phone is lame or what. Um, this is making me angry. I think I have rage problems, you guys. Like, everything makes me mad. All right, look, you stay. You need to go somewhere right now. It wouldn't be a live stream. It wouldn't be a unicorn such a live stream without me knocking something over. At least it was an oil or something this time. Oh, I forgot the hot glue gun was on. <laughs> Y'all. <gasps> oh, hysterical crying. Laughing at where you drew the line. Yes. Yes, I have my standards. <laughs> I have my iron, but I don't think we're going to get to appliques. I was doing some appliques. Was that last crafting live stream? No, I can't remember. I'm not going to look it up. <laughs> Where we did appliques, and I still haven't finished those. I haven't finished anything. I haven't finished cleaning my cat pee boot. I haven't finished painting my unicorn horns and gluing uh, fur on them. Oh, we need to see how that looks. Squirrel. <laughs> Da, da, da. Let's see, 1018. Look at me. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm like, oh, and I have glitter on my face too. I think that's thanks to um, Doo Doo's horn here. Wait, you know what? Instead of painting, since I don't know when I'm going to cut this short, I might not like cut it off like exactly in an hour. We'll see. But um, instead of painting the shadows, let's see, since I have the glue gun plugged in, let's see what some fur looks like glued on here. Let me gather my fur strips. And look at this. Oh, here's the little one. Where did they go? Where did my unicorn eyebrows go? Okay. Oh, that's a nice one. See, um, the fur goes in a certain direction on this. So I can't just like glue willy nilly. I have to make sure it is going where I want it to go. See, this is kind of skewing this way. So we're going to glue it down that way. This one. Right now, I'm kind of organizing the pieces in front of me as to like how the hair goes, which direction the hair is going. This one really does look like a unicorn eyebrow, y'all. <laughs> or like drag eyelashes. Work. Do they say work anymore? I don't even know. I'm so old. <laughs> Oh my God, Scott says. All right, hang on. Didn't I drop one? Did one like float away? What happened? Oh, there's like two. No, that's a feather. Ooh, but I should get some feathers. I should get some feathers and we'll see how those look because those have such a floaty, fun little feeling. We're going to see what happens. We're just going to see what happens. We're just going to see what happens. There is stuff everywhere here. Uh, <laughs> okay. 
Wait, that's purple. There's one that's lavender and one that's white. Where'd the lavender one come from? That's weird. That's weird. Did I have a lavender thing? That's, hmm. Hmm, okay. So we have our unicorn horn and this is the base. I wonder if there's anything I need to kind of glue down first. Let me see, let me. Ooh, this is like spooting. And I don't have like an industrial glue gun. I worked in a costume shop once that had an industrial glue gun where you had to have a bowl of ice water sitting next to you at all times because the moment any of the glue touched your skin, the moment it did that, you had to plunge your hand into the ice water or you would get a second degree burn immediately. The worst blister of my life, it was like this big and long on what the back of one of my fingers. Oh my gosh, that was in college. It was such a fun time though. <laughs> I learned a lot from that. The woman I worked for, the costume designer was just incredible. Very serious about like academic knowledge of specific things. And I love getting geeky about stuff like that. I love knowing the technical names for things and I don't know. So I'm sort of gluing down the base of this horn just so that it's a little more stable. Stable, it's for a horse, ha <laughs> ha, I'm punny. <laughs> a lavender feather for the win. But if it's the only lavender feather, it might stick out a little bit. Plus if we need to change things like colors or something. Why is this like off and wonky? Do I hate this? Hang on, I have to decide if I hate this. Oh, there's like an extra piece of... Oh my gosh, okay, hang on. As long as it, it looks a little crooked, but as long as it fits on her, right, Paige has a, this one was the one that was for Paige. And it is huge. And she's huge. She's a draft horse. She's adorable. Oh, she's in the video, the summer tips and treats in the treat part of it. I think it starts about seven minutes into the video. Um, anyone who's watching, go look at that. And we're feeding treats to Artax and to Paige. She's an enormous draft horse. I'm not kidding. Her head is just, it's this big. It's just as long as my torso. She's a giant beast. All right, I need to stop talking and do it, Kate. I'm kind of afraid to fit that. I'm kind of like not wanting to do it now because once I glue something down, I'm going to be like, ah, that's it. I can't change it. Okay. Is that what I want to do? Is that really how I want to live my life? I think so. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm going to put some glue around the edge. All right. The glue is on. We're in it. We're in it. This is happening. I did a thing. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna show like so. Underneath, I don't know how best to show that. When it's up against, the fur sort of disguises the edge of the unicorn horn base. So that it looks like there's a horn and it's just got some fur around the edge of it. Oh, Scott says, my computer's eight minutes behind. Right before she cut the unicorn horns off to remodel. Oh, legend. Oh, I love the movie Legend. I want to kill the unicorn. <gasps> Tim Curry in that movie. Y'all. Okay, now I need to match this on the other side. Yes, I loved the unicorns in Legend. Okay, and then we're gonna do this on this side like this. It's time to just put some glue down. It's where'd my glue stick go? My giant glue stick came out of the end of it. Me. Okay. Alrighty. I'm adding the glue. I'm adding the glue. Things are happening, people. This is not a drill. Wait, which direction was I gonna put it? What? Wait. Ow! I'm fine, everyone. 
No fingers were harmed, seriously, in the making of this video. Oh, I think that did it, everyone. That happened. Okay, then I need to add other layers on top of it. And then we've got the little, that's going to be on the bottom. Do, 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 do. And then we add the other pieces, like, so this will fill in. Watch me. Here we are just doing a thing. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. If I don't have, I have more fur, by the way, everyone. Don't panic if you're like, what? She doesn't have enough fur strips on her thing. Settle down. First of all, don't talk about my fur strips like that. You don't know me in that way. Okay. See there, we're getting a little more filled in. Uh oh, wait, don't, we can't have too much white. I mean, you can't have that dark showing. Um, the ooh, smart work from outside layering for, yes, yeah, see that this one here is going to work over on this side. Yeah, if I put it on one piece, it looks obvious. And this is like, I've made wigs this way where you just add it like line by line, piece by piece, layer by layer, trimming down parts of it. And this is kind of the same thing, and it makes the hair a little bit thicker. I'm going to have to trim that back, like on this side. I'm just going to trim that. What I'm going to do is this is going to go over the, the brow band of the horse's bridle. So I want to kind of make it look like this part is the brow band and that the unicorn horn is sticking out underneath the brow band. So we're going to put fur. We're not going to cover the entire thing with fur. We're going to just sort of surround it and leave that black section at the top so it looks like. <laughs> Frosty the snowman. No, wrong time of year for that. Christmas in July, anyone? Okay, okay. I haven't missed anyone, have I? No. I'm just looking to make sure. Sometimes people pop into the chat and they're like, hi, and I miss it among all the other random comments. Okay, I need to push this the other way. I need to make this go this way. So that's going to happen. And then I'm going to put some blue right there. And then where the fur and the horn sort of meet, what we do there is we add some trim. Like that's where we add our bling, our ribbon, our rhinestones, our whatever. So I was hoping Rebecca would join us tonight. She is one of our patrons and she made her own unicorn horn. I really need to get those photos and really post them one day on our Instagram. It was so cool to watch. Like we did this, um, uh, Scott and I did the unicorn horn live stream and I had thought like maybe it'll be up online and someone will make it in the future But this woman jumped on it and she was like bought all the stuff and she made the horn and it looked incredible It was just shiny and when she put it on her horse She had this photo shoot where she was in these co this costume. It was just amazing I need to get those pictures from her and see if I can post them on our Instagram because it was just it was just gorgeous She was gorgeous and she did it herself. She did it all herself. It was exciting it was so exciting. Did I just use up all of my fur? No. I have all these other extra pieces of fur, y'all. Why am I like this? Why? Okay. You know what, though? Do I have gold trim? Do I want to? I have this stuff that, honestly, it looks pretty dumb up close with the sequins. Like, the sequins are so... This is so let's go roller skating, is it not? or like cheap Greek goddess at a Halloween party kind of a thing. I don't know, but it's around the base of Weasley's original horn. And when you put it like down on the bottom like that and move it around, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad, but I don't know if I like it on this one. I may have to go find, again, I'm gonna go trim hunting at Joanne Fabric. Actually, that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. You know, in that costume shop that I worked at in college, my designer would always say, okay, it has to look good from 50 feet away on a galloping horse because it's pretty much the idea of how costumes are viewed with a live audience sitting out in front of you. So it doesn't have to look good up close in the details. And now I'm doing costumes for a galloping horse. <laughs> anyway, I actually might like that. So I'm going to hold that to the side. And then I need to do... 
Oh my gosh, I just got it off the entire roll. I'm special. I'm so special. Oh, it's 10.30 now. I might be losing all my people. So technically this is the end of the live stream, but I might stay on for a few more minutes since I'm just going to put some more fur on this anyway. I never got around to painting the other unicorn horn. See, this is why I need to do a live stream for like three hours and just kick it out and get a bunch of crap done. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. It does, it up close and in person, it looks really cheap and dumb. But when I put it on the horn, I don't know. It's sometimes, you know, when you go and you try on clothes or you go to clothes shopping and you see something and you're like, this is gross. I'm never gonna. And then you try it on and you're like, no, I'm cute. Oh no. Okay. So I have some more fur strips that I need to incorporate into the Okay, I think that's the one I want. No, this is it. This is this is definitely the one that's happening. So I am just looking here. See, I could do that and then just come back. I think that might be what I'm gonna do. And that will cover up any extra and then I could put a little more okay I'm gonna put some I'm just talking to myself I should be talking to y'all I apologize oh she said good night lady that was a hoot see you next Monday in class yes have a great fourth of July you too have a fabulous fourth of July oh Genevieve thank you for joining me you are wonderful y'all she's adorable like I said she's in my Taekwondo class she's new her uh, wife took Taekwondo there at that studio years ago and is now back, but she's new. She's like a baby white belt and she's adorable. Um, okay, okay, that was my finger with the hot glue. I should probably cut this short too in a minute, but this is really looking like a thing now. That looks like a thing I would put on a horse. And again, it looks kind of ratchet right here, but that's where we're going to add some trim and everybody's going to be happy. Will that cover it? Yes, it will, girl. So I just need to, where's my scissors? I need to trim up. No, because that needs to go on. I really kind of want to finish something tonight. Is that bad? Is that bad? If you're still watching this and you're like, no, girl, bye, then bye. But I feel like I want to, I feel like I want to finish a thing. So I'm just going to keep going for now. I mean, the cats aren't bugging me for. When you're cutting fur, you don't just cut fur. You stick the blade through the fibers of the fabric. <laughs> Chrissy's like, finish it. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna. Oh, that's where I was going with that. That's where I was going with that. Don't lose track, Michelle. Chrissy's with me. She's on LA time. It's not late over there. Oh, wait, did I position that right? Wait, no. Okay. Actually, that's no, that's perfect. And I need a little more loop. <laughs> I may be able to finish it and put some trim on it. Love it. Invite it over to my house for Thanksgiving. Okay, so that needs to be trimmed. Wait. Why isn't that? Okay. So we're going to trim this off. I also could be doing it with a razor blade. Another way to cut uh, fur is to when you turn it over, so you turn it to this side right here, you can just take a razor blade like so. Take a razor blade like so and just sort of uh, slice down that and then separate the two. And then you don't lose any, you don't lose any fibers that way, which is amazing. But it takes, uh, it's, you got to have patience to cut fur that way. <laughs> Anybody who knows me is like, oh, well then girl, no. <laughs> you know, so, sorry, you can't use that method. Yeah. Yeah. Patience is not my thing. It's not what I do. Um, sometimes I regret it, but it's just, you know, it's my nature. It's my nature and I'll cry if I want to. Okay. 
So this side of it is pretty much uh, done. So I've got it where it looks like this is coming around and then I've got the bridal part like right up there on behind and then the gold trim is going to come around there. But this side is still a little ratchet. So we are going to figure out what to do about that. I need to trim. Why does that keep locking up? Don't do that to me. Don't make me hate you. I don't want to hate you. We were good friends, Mr. A pair of scissors. Okay. I need a little piece. I need, a, I've got like two little holes. I need a piece here and a piece here. So let's do that with this. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, Chrissy, thank you for hanging out with me tonight, even though we are on opposite coasts. Okay. That needs to be cut right there like that. I wonder if I could do it. Should I do it with the razor blade? Should I do it? Should I do it? Okay, now I gotta have like three hands. And this is apparently a dull razor blade. There you go. Look at me go. What? Okay, so then I'm gonna just glue that down. You're very welcome. He. Okay. Ah, it popped on me. He. Alrighty, we're going a little long with this one. If you're still with me, I love you. <clears throat> All right, oh, I gotta glue that down. That's not even glued down. It's just hanging out there like I owe it money. Okay, now I just need one more little area. One more little area. And then we can, why? Why do I touch it? Why do I touch it? I, t I shouldn't touch it, and I touch it. That's what happens. And then I get the owie owls on my fingers. Mm. All right, I need another little teeny piece for this, like a little tiny. Eh. That's tacky. We don't do tacky. That's tacky. <sighs> okay, wait, where's my, oh, there's my little thing here. So... We literally only need like that. And I hate using the word literally, but it, the word literally is literally overused. Okay, see, that's all we need is this tiny little boop. It's a tiny little boop and it's going right there. Wait, did I cut that the wrong shape? Okay, we're almost done with our live stream. I could keep going. I could keep going and paint. It's tack chat, not tacky chat. Thank you. Yes, we don't do tacky. I'm pretty tacky. I have to watch it. I'm really tacky. So I have to watch myself. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of fur on here. Y'all, I feel it. It's it's in it's within my grasp. Now I just gotta take this and we have to put it around this way and measure that. Boom. We very scientifically and carefully measured it. Just kidding, we didn't. I just estimated. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay this down. We're gonna lay it down. Oh, I need to make sure all the fur, we don't want any fur up underneath. We want all the fur to be out. We want it to get trapped underneath the trim. That would be sad. And we don't wanna be sad. Nobody wants to be sad. This is unicorn, so we can't be sad. It's unicorn. Okay. I'm not gonna go all the way around. I'm just gonna go a little bit of a ways, just a little bit of a ways. And I'm gonna press it in here and you know I'm gonna get some of it on my finger. You know I'm gonna, it's gonna happen. So then up ahead of my glue, try to stay ahead of my glue. My finger's touching glue right now. Am I reacting? No, I'm not, because I'm a champ. Okay, then I reacted. Wait, I got fake fur up my nose, y'all. <laughs> fur up my nose. It's the worst. It's literally the worst. Ow! <laughs> that is what I get for using the word literally. For overusing literally. <laughs> it's my karma. Karma, karma, karma girl. I've made it around to the front of the horn. We are getting a unicorn horn finished tonight, y'all. I am bound and determined bound and determined. I didn't put any feathers on here. I still could. Ouch, ouch, why? Okay. 
Okay. This is it, y'all. I feel it happening. This is something to behold. I have fake fur up my nose, and I'm about to die right now. Okay, here's what we've got going on. I have no idea what I looked like or if I was even like in frame doing things. I'm sort of holding it down. Look how pretty. Aw, see. And that's gonna go on page. She has like a white, kind of off-white creamy white warlock and it's very bushy and she's just huge and beautiful. And I'm gonna make her a unicorn so she can be my baby unicorn. She's not technically my horse, but she's kind of a unicorn and centaur horse because she's out at the barn with my horses. She's been in our videos and on our Instagram. And there you go. I'm kind of happy with that. I'm kind of happy about it. It looks like there's more fur on one side. Yep, it's a little bit off center. I may have to add like another, um, I may have to add another little bit of fur so it at least looks even on both sides. Yay! Chrissy says yay. So now we have um, more unicorn horns. Yay! So here's our taxes. And here's here's a there's a silver one and a gold one, and then the copper one that I still have to finish. This is my sunny bun, my one-eyed bun bun, my pirate pony. Hey girl, hey, oh, Rebecca made it, yay! I was talking about you early, earlier, Rebecca, and how you made your horn, and how your horse is just so beautiful with the horn, and that you made it yourself, it was so exciting. So here's what we did tonight. For those who, um, or for those who are just joining us, uh, we were painting some more on these fairy wings, and I'm still gonna add more uh, sparkly doodles in here, but we just did that. That's the second time I've done that. <laughs> the second time. Y'all, why? Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Okay. And now I have fake fur up my nose. <sighs> okay. And then this was a horn. It was totally plain when we started, and we put fur all around the edge, and I added some trim to sort of disguise the bottom. And we did it in layers. I don't know if I put it up really close. I don't know if you can see. Oh, well, not really. There you go. Um, so now I've got that one, but I, um, I didn't quite get to this. Um, when I, tr I tried a sealer on it, that was a glitter sealer and it ended up putting a white cast on everything and it ruined the shadows that I had painted on here. And I'm like angry about it. I was really despondent. So I am going to wrap up the live stream. It's getting late out here and I have some Diet Dr. Pepper left. If you haven't already and you're watching, oh, same thing happened to me. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I've used other sprays before for my other horns and nothing else happened like that. And I was like, what? Why? So, but that's why when I, when we were doing the live streams, I was like, okay, this is not like a step one, step two, step three, step four process. Sometimes you do something and it doesn't, function like you thought it was going to function or like even if you've done it before like it worked this way last time and you do it again exactly the same and like now it doesn't work for some reason so it ends up being kind of a weird process oh I had to repaint and re-glitter my horn yes I had to put an extra coat of sculptor coat on this one because I thought it was working but then it wasn't and now I have to go and repaint it this is why when people are like do you make the horns to sell I'm like no <laughs> this is like Excuse me, and now I'm burping. I was thinking of putting some feathers. Maybe I'll put feathers around here. I don't know. We'll see. All right, look, I've got to clean this up. This room is a mess. You can't even see. Uh, Rebecca, thank you for joining me. I know it was uh, last minute, uh, but it counts. It counts. You're in my heart. You're in my heart. All right, well, thank you. I, I keep saying thank you. I don't know how to end these. I'm so awkward. Oh, wow. Maybe, okay, for the next one, I'm, oh, well, you know what? Before I go, I was going to end it, but now that you're here, hang on. Whoa, oh, my God, I disturbed my other kitty. Christine said, I heard talk of a unicorn movie being made. Aw, should make the horns for them. That would be nice. Um, covers for the reins. So this, like, slips over the reins so that you've got, like, fringe uh, for your reins, and you can make all kinds of, what is that? You can make all kinds of different covers, like uh, make the, 
little patterned ones or make fringe ones or make ones covered in flowers or something. So I thought about doing this for one of the crafting live streams, maybe next time. Um, and also just like make your own saddle pad. I thought maybe I can find a nice easy pattern online and we can just like make a saddle pad and see how easy that is for one of the crafting streams. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to make rain covers next time or if you'd like to do saddle pads or if you have another idea like, hey, can we get caught up on something? Can we make something else? Like, oh, what else I wanted to do? Armor pieces. I never made like armor pieces and I have a couple of patterns for it, like out of foam and glue and paint and everything. So I'd love to maybe make a couple of pieces on one of the live streams, even if I haven't done it before and I'm kind of learning live or doing it together. Saddle covers. Ooh, that's a good idea too. Sorry, I got here so late. That's okay, baby, as long as you showed up. I love you. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, there's like little bits of this fake fur everywhere and it's my fault. So leave a comment. Yes, rain covers, saddle pads, saddle covers. Um, uh, let's see what we can do and make for our ponies. Thanks again for joining me. Subscribe if you haven't. Yada, yada, yada. You know all the YouTube stuff. And Rebecca, mwah, goodbye.